Well, here's my uh, Yak 55 by Hobby King. I just finished it last night. And I'm hoping to practice uh, 3D with it. And uh, I hopefully I got it all together. I got a 40 amp speed controller, Hobby King. Uh, 40 50 amp speed controller with a uh, the recommended motor the 3010b 1300 kV with a uh, 420 watts with a 11 by 5 prop so uh, we'll see how it does and I did got extension wires hopefully I mounted this it, it feels pretty sturdy but um, I added some I don't know if you can see it with the glare but there's it's called goop and I saw it on flight test and it looks pretty looked pretty good there and it's it's really quite durable um, I had some EPP uh, spare pieces and I snapped the other piece um, without it and then I, I applied it and uh, I tried snapping it and it just stuck together it's actually kind of neat so I did the whole leading edges back here on the tail. I did the seams a little. I did the the nose, the bottom of the nose down here, and the top of the nose up here. The motor mount. I just cut these off. You'll probably see, but just did that just a little while ago. Um, and I added, I put some on the other side, um, all all along here, just in case I, I break a break a rear end. Um, back here the tail has it, the elevator has it, and the rudder has it back here. So I um, ran my wires, I'm using Corona 939's uh, 12 gram Metal Gear Digitals, which are really cheap. And I ran my wires, so you can see the cluster, um, bit, my, bit my wires, or my uh, control my rods and let's see if I can turn it upside down I'm sitting up so there they are so my wires you can see the goop it's called goop I added some weight for a thousand a thousand milliamp battery and yeah the control surfaces seem pretty good a lot of tons of throw tons of throw I painted the bottom, as you can see, and I added a carbon rod back here. It really does stiffen it up, just a small one, it really does stiffen it up big time. And I made my own control horn out of plastic divider from a toolbox. It's a little bit, it's um, stronger and less brittle than the ones that they supplied me. Because I actually broke it, I put I put the the Dubrose clip on the wrong spot, and I noticed it. And I was like, "Oh no!" So I tried to take it off, and I, I ended up breaking it. So I said, "Yeah, I can make another one." So there it is, cheap one out of plastic. So I'm hoping to get some good flies and and uh, practice 3D out of it without damaging it too much, and. Uh, you know get my orientation pretty good so it's good practice I'm hoping I can learn a lot from it and that is the Hobby King Yak 55 and I believe it's about $51 and if you wait long enough the price will drop down to 48 bucks so it's not bad it's actually pretty pretty big I, I wear 12s so it's, it's I mean it's pretty big for a good size plane cheap and it's um, really visible and it's a I don't know it's, it's pretty should be agile so there she is so I, hope I don't crash it no maiden flight uh, I'm gonna maiden it right now but I don't have a, a video someone to hold my video camera so there she is